Okay, so I got all the uh, the T's done. As you can see right here, it's just finished nailed. One there, one there, and one in the center, just to kind of hold it until it gets screwed in place. Um, I already have the first one mounted on the first shelf shelf that I'm doing. Uh, as you can see right there, I have that side clamped. It's measured at the center, uh, 19 and 3 quarter inches on each side from the board. Uh, now I'm going to pre-drill it and then put the screws in to hold it in place. Because you because I'm building this out of pine, you got to pre-drill pretty much everything. And I'm using two and a half inch screws to hold it all in place. And then just like I told you guys in the previous video, how I didn't screw that center board in because you have to use a pocket screw, I'll make sure that there's one at the front and then I'll put one directly behind it and then one at the very end to make sure that this thing is secured tightly. There's the first one. Okay, so I got all the T's uh, screwed onto each shelf um, in the center. So now I'm going to start attaching them to the legs. Uh, there's really no good way to go about this. So the way I'm doing it is, is I have the back legs uh, on the ground and then the back side of it obviously standing up. And I'm going to attach a couple this way, and then I'll do that on each side, and then I'll be able to attach the front legs a little bit easier than if I tried doing it all upside down or in the air or anything like that. So I'm going to get a few of these attached, and then uh, I'll come back. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I'm installing each, uh, each shelf. Um, I already have one installed. Uh, what I did was I made a spacer that's the exact width. I just took a board for what I used in the T. Um, so it's three quarters of an inch thick. And then I cut my runners for the outside that are the same length. And so I just used this for a spacer and then put that on top. And then you just drill my hole. I'm using one and five eighths inch screws to screw them in to the two by four. And then I do my next one. Take another spacer out. Now I gotta do it on the other side. And then what I did 
where they made another spacer and some plywood that is the distance that I want the next shelf to be and then I just put those on there like that and then I grab my next shelf put it in place, flush it up with the back and then all I do is take my drill drill from the outside in and then for this I'm using two and a half inch screws to go from the outside in. same thing on the other side and then it's pretty much repetitive from there spacer runner spacer shelf and so on so forth so as soon as I get all these in place I'll come back okay so uh, here's the rat rack it's totally assembled uh, and in the room that it's gonna be in for now um, as you can see, it holds 14 tubs. I only have four right now. Uh, I don't have enough rats to fill up the whole thing. But you can see, I'm doing a, uh, a ratio of three to one. Three females, one male. In each tub. These are the female, male tubs. And then I have these guys down here are all males. You can there's two of them and there's our hairless back there. For right now, I'm using the water bottles. Uh, I just ordered the water system, uh, all the components, so that should be coming later this week and I'll do a video on how I'm installing that. So you guys will just have to wait a little bit for that one. But And then for right now, I found a local feed store by me that can get the rat food this is just a box I bought it at Walmart because it won't fall through uh, my rats were eating dog food um, but I'm gonna switch them over to actual rat feed uh, that I got from my local feed store so if you're not finding it online you have questions on where to get bulk rat food um, I will try to find the website that found me um, you put in your zip code and it gives you the local dealers around you so I'll try to post that in the uh, the description at the end so you guys can find that website so if you guys are having problems finding uh, bulk rat food that should hopefully help solve your problems so that's pretty much how I did the rat rack I mean it's pretty much like the same way everybody else has done their rat racks but And I just I added this board back here that stops the tubs from going past there so the rats can't escape from the back. So, hope this video has been of some help. And if you decide to build one, happy building. Again, this is Croc Hunter 054, and have a good day.